recording, take two. The re-recording. And everything's working this time. Excellent. This is going to be more Pro League action, more another SKT1 set versus Eastro this time. Uh, the first match is Bisu versus Action. It's going to be a PVT, PVZ rather on match point. Uh, so obviously Action is up here, the beige colored Zerg up in the upper right, and that makes Bisu the purple-ish Protoss that'll be in the bottom left. There's Action getting a nice shot of him not doing anything. Yes, Bisu is, Bisu is pur purple down here in the bottom left. Um, whoa, do not need to pause. We want to see this game actually happen. <laughs> so, I'm trying to run this in Safari, so we'll see if, well, that works at all. And I, I don't really believe that Safari is good for anything, but since Vista and Sound do not get along, all of my other browsers are muted right now, and this is the only one that will produce sound out of YouTube, so hopefully it will work and not explode on me. I had an upgrade to Windows 7 this weekend, so hopefully all of my sound Vista problems will go away. Anyway, enough about my problems. Let's talk about StarCraft. Bisu is going for a Forge Fast Expand, as you would expect on this map. We'll see if Action follows uh, what Day9 was talking about when he did his Day9 Daily on this map. He discussed uh, ZVP's strategy a lot and how classical ZV st ZVP strategy doesn't work very well because third is so far away and it's got two entrances and, and it's too much ability for your Protoss to get in there and get in your face but then you just try to take four bases you just take for action to be these four bases all on the side turn a little bit and then progress into the mid game like that maybe get lots of mutas and <laughs> Bisu loves manor pylon and stopping that hatchery from going down he, I'm pretty sure he just plans to do that every game He just wants to be annoying in every way possible. That probe is going to annoy as much as possible. And it, it doesn't really hurt action that much. He's just going to go down here and take his second base in this corner. And then he'll take his third where that pilot gets cancelled. <laughs> you see Pisa's probe still running around being annoying. I presume that... Well, who, here we go. This is going to be... What is this? Is that best? Question mark? I should probably know. I don't know any of the Eastro players, so it makes it confusing. And uh, all Asians look the same as everyone knows, so I can't tell them apart. No, I, th I think that was best. So that other guy was probably Heva. That'll be set four on New Tornado if it makes it there. And uh, I wish uh, Pro League had the little mineral counter here so we could know if Beast is actually doing anything by delaying this hatchery or if he doesn't actually have the minerals and Beast is just showing off his ridiculous APM. I don't know. Uh, so Beast has got all of his stuff coming out. He's only got one cannon warping in so far. He's going to throw it on a second here, but Action's sent those Zerglings right to his base, so Beast is going to have to pull a couple probes, get some block on here. Oh man, the mascot's got a lot to say, and apparently it's amusing to our pink shirted commentator crew here. Pink and orange. It's, uh,. Interesting color scheme. And man, just look at that. Bisu putting his probe on the ramp to slow down the Zerglings. Action's gonna go for it anyway. A couple of Zerglings in the back get caught up, but there's only one cannon, so they can get through. Three Zerglings do get through to Bisu's main. That's so annoying. As Protoss, <laughs> Bisu cancels his other cannon now, and he doesn't need it. That, that's it. That's, he, he's definitely on top of stuff there. He's gonna use that minerals to get out earlier uh, Zealots, probably. Get some earlier tech, perhaps. We'll see. Because he's just staring into the screen. See, now he's getting his gas mining delayed here. There, he's having to pull probes to shake their face at these zerglings, and all just because <laughs> the uh, the pro protosses keep doing this. They keep going for forge nexus cannon against overpull on this map, and it keeps not working. This is like the third time I've seen someone do this and then have to pull four or five probes and run them around his base because there are Zerglings in there. And he's setting out a, a Zealot, um, but just like the last time I saw this, there are more Zerglings produced and that Zealot is going to do nothing. Get a little scout, I guess, for the moment. I don't know if Bisu lost his scouting probe, but we haven't got a shot of it since there's Zerglings running around his base. Yeah. So, 
This is all that's going to go down from the combined attack of those Zerglings. Probably. They didn't all engage at once. Lucky for Bisu, but still, yeah. Four Zerglings. Gonna almost get him. Okay. And this other four Zerglings. Wow, there are a whole bunch of Zerglings produced, and these other Zerglings will eventually kill everything. <laughs> Bisu's probes managed to get a Zergling kill. There's no gas mining going on in Bisu's main. He must be have a geyser up at his natural hole. So is getting the scout here. It gets to see that spire almost certainly that was going down there. Oh man, Bisu losing probes. There's no reason for that, Bisu. Yeah, Bisu's got to stargate up. Otherwise, pretty much Sanity's produced two more zealots. Uh, one sitting there guarding the front, and the other one is in here uh, killing killing zerglings that aren't being migrated. <laughs> And I think BC, okay, BC ha does have two cannons at his front again, so there's zer more Zerglings coming, but they're probably not going to be able to run by in any large group this time. Uh, it is a Spire, like I thought. But the only building that makes sense in is that size. <laughs> Man, BC Zealot was out of position there. <laughs> Action looks like he thought about it, and then he changed his mind and ended up just throwing away a bunch of Zerglings. That's uh, quality decision making right there. <laughs> I shouldn't pick on, <laughs> shouldn't pick on players, but it was it was still not that good of an idea. I don't know what he. I guess he, ah, uh, yeah, he got halfway and got in too far and had to pull back. There's some sort of joke here somewhere, but I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> see that. <laughs> Setting up the third set for download. Uh, so Bisu is going to get, what, two overload kills with his Sarahs here? Four. There's Scourge certainly morphing in some of these eggs. Hopefully for Bisu, not one near his Corsairs, but I think he's just going to run away now, yeah. <laughs> Scourge was right there, but it was not in time to save that poor overload. And Bisu, like everyone else on this map, is going to go Sarah Reaver. Or Sarah everything. That seems to be the dominant strategy, I think, because third is so close as the crow flies and it just protects your man and ow if you're gonna do that though be so you can't lose your corsair <laughs> and so beast is being super aggressive with his expansions like normal trying to expand with just four zealots out here to handle it he's gonna have uh reavers and a shuttle out eventually but not yet and if he loses his corsairs like he has been that's not gonna help him Yeah, there's a Robo Bay coming down, so there's a shuttle gonna pop momentarily, and then we'll see that Reaver come up. Action looks like he's doing a pretty typical three hatch type build, and Action has seen these Zealots down here now, so he probably knows what's going on. He doesn't have much else besides Zerglings out yet, but he's got a pretty good amount of them. I wonder if he's gonna challenge the front here with this, because he, he knows Beast has got no forces back here. He he could definitely challenge the front and snipe the natural nexus, because that, that Dragoon is not making a tight wall, and and oh man he's just going right for going right for the cannons there luckily the shuttle doesn't go down for Bisu oh but man he's in a horrible position this is a great call by action oh man <laughs> probes get in there killing those poor zerglings and I think they're all gonna go down barely so Bisu, <laughs> Bisu almost getting in a very very bad situation with no units <laughs> back to defend and no cannons left but he manages to survive, and uh, <laughs> so we are going to see yes, um, sort of five hatch Ling Muta type play, and then into a it looks like it's going to be the fourth base coming up right now. Yep, just went down. So we are going to see exactly what Day Nine uh, was talking about on this map. Oh man, that doesn't seem like enough Corsairs to have killed all those Scourge that fast. And uh, now, now Bisu's Corsairs are outnumbered, and they're all going to go down but one, so that's bad. He's lost air control, and uh, that means his Sarah Reaver build doesn't have a lot of potential to kill things. He's only got one cannon up in the main, another one's warping in. That's not going to be enough to defend against all these mutas, especially if all of his Sarahs go down, which it looks like they're going to, yes. Once our 